Today I'm here with my friend Luke Camerata and he's going to show us what we're supposed to do with our Satsuki azaleas uh, during this time of the year. So the work we're going to be performing today is uh, after post flower bloom. This tree has been blooming for about three weeks. Okay. So it's time to take the flowers off. You can see it's not totally done blooming. Yeah. But because we're in a container and the flowers actually make the tree weaker, we want to go ahead and take the flowers off now. When your leaves start turning a yellower color, not so green, okay. you, that'll, you'll know that you pass that point, you should pull them off as quick as you can. So you can do this with tools or without. Okay. We just pull it off. Oh, okay. And this piece right here, Yeah. this is called, called the septal. Oh, okay. You want to make sure you get that entirely off of there. Okay. Okay, and then I'll show you, if you just pull it from the top, so you leave that septal in there. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's stealing energy. Okay. Okay. I yeah, I see it right there. That thing right there, right? Yeah. yeah. So you want to get in there and make sure you get it all off. Okay. And that's, is that the key kind of to point these For flowers? me, that is. Yeah. That is. Because that septal will still draw energy up. Yeah, yeah, right there. Oh, okay, cool. So that's what you want it to look like yeah. by the time you're done pulling off that flower. Okay. And you could, oh, and you can even clean up with the shears. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, and what will happen is if you leave the flowers on, uh -huh. this tree will go to seed. And that will just totally steal all your energy. When you're working on this, well, it's, like, it's June right now. It's like... Um, it's the beginning of June, and you usually time it based on the number of, uh, number of flowers on the tree, right? Rather than the actual time of the, the month. Uh, yeah, time of the year doesn't matter because some tr some Saskia azaleas will bloom early. Okay. Some mid, some are late. This is a late variety. Okay. All our shows in Southern California here are late. Huh. So I personally choose the varieties that are late late bloomers. There's so many varieties that it all it all depends. You may get them uh, before May. Oh. Okay. I choose the last few weekends of May. So I have my shows I can present a short tree at. So mostly by hand, it looks like. I'm pinching them all the way back to that. The septal. The septal. Is there stages in terms of how you remove? I will do all of them. Prefer to do all of them on the same day. On the same day. And is there, what happens if you don't? Say you don't have time to get through. Well, you want to do it all within, a, you know, this is only a couple hours here, this tree. Uh-huh. Oh, to do all this? To do all this, yeah. But in terms of like one to two days apart? Yeah, that's really what that you want to do. Because okay. you want your flowers all to bloom at the same time next year. Oh, okay. Okay, so, okay, like, so if I waited weeks in between doing these the steps, yeah. you would have a tree that bloomed a different, you know, sporadically rather than all at once. I mean, you wait all year for them to bloom. Yeah. You don't want to, you know... You hate to pull them up at the same time you want a tree that survives. Yeah. You know, you don't want a dead tree. Okay, yeah, tell us why you don't let it because bloom over it, you. You need the tree to uh, rejuvenate, re get strong again. If you let it bloom every year, it's going to get strong and then weak because of the flowers. Okay. Strong and then weak. Where you want to build a nice, strong tree, let it flower every three years. So, like, I'll, let, I'll repot this tree with one year. Okay. Take flowers off for two years. On the third year, I'll let it flower. Okay. Next year, we pot. Okay. So like, in terms of, say you weren't going to let this flower this year, would this, like over here, you'd start to see these guys, right? Yeah. And that's when you would just take them, take yeah, them off? Yeah, I pull them off in this stage here when I start to see the buds swell a little bit. Yeah. The second you see yeah. those buds, I mean those, those blooms. You want to get them, get them off. Them. Okay. Okay. And then what happens is your tree will get a little bit healthier yeah get healthier keep okay. stay healthy where yeah. if you let it bloom every year yeah after a few times of blooming yeah we'll start to weaken slowly you know, get a week and then okay. next thing you know you, you say why is my tree dying yeah when's the next time you'll work on this tree i'll work in, on this tree in december in december yeah and what will you be doing in december we will do mesquite which is pulling pulling leaves so that would be like this new shoot here okay we'd pull them all forward all right well Thanks for the tips, Lou. No problem, Jason. My pleasure. Something I enjoy, something I have passion for, something I want to share along. And then Lou, people want to see nice videos of Satsuki's. What's your YouTube channel? Uh, Satsuki Lou. Satsuki Lou. Is there any resources that you might recommend? Yeah, I would uh, look up North American's North American Satsuki Bonsai Center. Uh, he has classes, uh, six classes a year. Okay. And it's just basic seasonal care. 
and Rick, uh, Rick Garcia is the proprietor, and he's been studying in Japan for 25 years. Purely on Satsuki as alias? That's all he does. Wow. That's... He has no other bonsai. Wow, that's awesome. So yeah, he's got some awesome trees. Great. Thanks, Luke. You're welcome. Thank you. So check that in the description below. See you guys next time.